Welcome back. So as you can see, uh, you have tell you we got a breakdown and uh, obviously we refused Zenden. So uh, that's alright. I'm not too bothered about that. Now, uh, just really quickly guys, um, Ben Afra uh, is up for a free transfer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in a cheeky bid for him. Um, offer him something. So I'm going to go ahead and offer him just like 500 for now. Free year deal. He's only 18, but he looks promising, and uh, that could be good for us. I think we probably could do with maybe one extra midfielder, so why not? Um, you know, I mean, I'm being careful about my budget, so I'm, you know, I'm not going over. I'm just looking at the um, non-affiliated here. We'll see what happens. So welcome back, guys. Um, in this match, going for the same formation again because it is absolutely amazing. So <laughs> why would I change it? Uh, not only that, but um, I've put Foy in the team, so he's going to be starting, because he had a pretty good game last time, and uh, I've got high hopes for him, because uh, apparently he's supposed to turn into a very good player uh, in a few seasons, so, hmm. and um, in this, like, I've got Schwartz, Cissé up front, along with, uh, let me think, uh, Berbatov as well, Berbatov mad the match last game, so, you know, He's looking good. Uh, not only that, but um, I made uh, Carragher the captain as well, uh, just because it's pre-season, so why not? So this is the North American All-Star team. So I'm hoping, hoping for a pretty good game um, here. I mean, if we can beat Roma like we did in the last game, why can't we beat these as well in a pretty good fashion? Oh, Gerard's kept it in. It's Schwartz. Oh, it's a great save. Schwartz again. Oh, it's no good. It's close. The defense let him get the shot in. They have to be more alert. Luis Ernesto Perez. It's through. With bread. Oh, it's off the post. Marina's just going to boot that one away. It's Gomez. And away by Gerard. He's looking for the target. Gerard. One's just gonna get that back. No teams have been stuck in. Mathieu. Oh, I couldn't pick out Cece. So, second half. Uh, not too bad of a first half. We had chances, but we need to obviously play a little bit better to get the goal. So hopefully it's going to go a little bit better. Decided to not change the team. Thought they played pretty well, so... It's a good shot. Well saved by Reina again. Although I think that's probably his first save. I can recall. It's created a counter for them. Gerard. He's in space down the right. It's gone out, but it came off the defender. It's into the middle. Cut out by the defender. This has potential. And he's going to oh, see, so say couldn't get it on target. Nelson. Play surges forward. Tries one from distance. Oh, and we've conceded. That's their first of the match. Wasn't expecting that, but I don't know. I think they probably worked for that. To be honest, they've they've played really well, so I'm not too disappointed about that. There's plenty of time to get back into this. Let him through in the middle there. Dudek couldn't get to it in time. 
There's actually Dudek in goal, I forgot, not Reyna. <laughs> so, yeah, made a bit of a mistake there. Here's Foy. He's found Schwartz in the middle. Here's Babatov! Good goal. Bebatov definitely performing a lot better now. The attacking options makes this a lot, to be honest, easier, I think. Here's Schwartz. Schwartz couldn't find Bebatov. Keeper comes forward, and the ball ends up in his arms. Carragher. Massieu. And he's gone for Schwartz. it. Schwartz! Oh, it was so close. It was a good turn. He maybe didn't connect properly on the shot. Oh. A good delivery could put them in front again. No. No. Reset on for Foy, cool on for Schwartz. It's sent to the near post. Oh, and it's a good save. And can we get it away? Can, but only just. And it's a great save by Dudek. Nielsen. Oh, and it's Cissé, he's through. He's onside. It's Gibriel Cissé. Risa! Oh, he's just missed the target. It was a good chance. Just couldn't get it in. Risa! Oh, it's another great save. Kuhl picked him out. So I'm running in. Couldn't finish. Another substitution here. They brought on a sub cover. They're really getting for this now. Yes, I think the manager probably felt he had to do something to liven the side up. Hopefully, a set of fresh legs will make a difference. Ah. Finnan. He's cut the pass out beautifully. It's no, Carragher's left him. That's a clear foul, but was it inside the box? It's not inside the box, but this is a good chance for them. We need to defend well. It's blocked away. It's away. Berbatov couldn't get it. Hupier. Gerard. Berbatov out wide. Here's Harry Kuhl. Can he find Cissé? And he can't quite find him in the end. Risa. Kuhl out wide to Mefui. Oh, and he couldn't put in Risa there. It was a shame. It was a good attack. Kuhl puts in Berbatov. Berbatov to finish it off. Give it our Berbatov. Finishes it off. 2-1 Liverpool. And there we go. He's had a great preseason. Berbatov one-on-one -on -one situation. Just, just slots it on. It's a great goal. Tight, low, bottom corner. What more could you ask for? Come back from behind to hopefully win this match now.
Here's Cissé. Oh, it's touched too far. Well, there we have it, guys. We won all four of our preseason matches. That is absolutely excellent. This new formation is amazing. I have to say it has been amazing. So, yeah, I think that was 2-0 against Stuttgart. 4-1 uh, against Asia. Um, the Asian All-Stars. 6-0 uh, against Roma. And obviously this one as well. That's absolutely excellent. Individual game records... Berbatov yet again, he's looking good, for sure. So, very uh, excited about that. Also, Kuehl did well coming on. Risa was okay. CC did well, but just couldn't find his chances. Um, and yeah. So, uh, as you can see, Ben Afra, uh, we had a breakdown in that. So, oh well. I guess um, there is one last chance for negotiations, I think. Um... So I guess we could maybe do that. Um, so let me have a look really quickly. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in one last cheeky bid for um, Manafra. I'm going to offer him 600 uh, on a four-year deal and see what comes back. Um, I think that's it, to be honest. I don't think there's anything else I really want to do. Honestly, Bradley Wright Phillips could play on the wing, I think. He isn't too bad, but... Um, Just uh, wondering what I should do. I can pick up some of these players. I mean, some of them aren't that great, but you never know. They've got Gronk gear there, or whatever his name is. He's not too bad. Top speed. He's 28, though, so I don't think I really want to pick him up. There's Delini. He isn't bad for a side back. You know what I mean, he could be alright. Maybe we could offer him a contract. Who knows? Because we, we, we could do with an extra like right back since we've got like a a left back now. Um, I think defenders is probably the one thing that we're looking for now. Well, I think I will offer him say 700 and uh, see what comes back with that. Uh, five year deal. In fact, he's 29, isn't he? So to be honest, maybe three at max. And I think that's pretty much it. This Thatcher there, I don't really want him. Richardson, um, yeah. And uh, I think that's it for now. So uh, both of our transfers broke down. <laughs> oh well, I mean, I guess it's worth a shot in the end. Um, you never know when, until you try, so never mind. It doesn't matter. We brought in one player over the summer. I'm happy with what we've got, and from what I've looked, what we've played like in preseason, I think uh, we're good to go for next season. So as you can see, we've got to play the players' wages. Our funds now have been gone down to uh, 2,399, so that's all right. Uh, we was unable to get rid of some of the players we wanted to get rid of, but never mind, you know what I mean? There's all, always uh, winter transfer and summer transfer next season. So yeah, at least, we, at least you've got enough money um, by the end of the season. Final week of the season. Uh, I don't believe you can actually transfer players on this because it's not a transfer negotiation period. Um, no, you can't do it. So I don't even think you can get like free players or stuff. So yeah, so that's pretty much it, guys. We're done. We're done for the season. Um, if we have a look, um, season stats. So uh, Reina got 6.2 overall. I think he was our best keeper. Um, Carragher 5.5 is a bit disappointing. Same as Hoop here there, it's not too great, but I guess we have been rotating quite a bit. Gerard 7.2, best player I think, um, without a doubt. Um, Marinta has got a 6.0, Berbatov got a 6, so it's about average, but Kuehl got a 7, I was very impressed with Kuehl, and even Zenden was pretty good. Uh, so yeah, um, Mephri didn't play any games obviously, because we didn't buy him until just recently. Haleb got a 6.4. Haleb looked good as well, so I'm pleased with that. Uh, so you say a 6.3. Uh, so nobody was like absolutely outstanding. Risa played good. So did Garcia. You know, I was impressed with them too. So yeah, it's been overall a good season. And if um, 
It basically tells you, you can see there in the top right corner, your win percentage average. So we won 64.28% of our games. Uh, won 9, drew 4, lost 1. So that's not bad. We scored 28 goals and only conceded 9, plus 19 goal difference. Only one yellow card. <laughs> so that's definitely good. Um, as you can see, you can go on to... Um, everybody's team to see how well they did as you can see Celtic minus 12 one red card only won two games 14.28 so you know good luck to Celtic you know I mean well they've got a higher WEFA ranking than us so <laughs> you know uh, West Brom uh, give us the most trouble this season I have to say and that so if we kind of look back on the season as a whole yeah, I would say it's been pretty good, guys. It's been it's been a good season. Obviously, uh, from weeks 21 to 25, we're probably the worst part of the season for us. Hmm. As you can see, we got off to a great start against Rangers. Uh, went away to Pez. It was a difficult game, but we got a draw. So that was alright. Got a week off. Then SGN. Frustrating game. But we got, we got two penalties. Gerard managed to put the second one away, so I was happy with that in the end. We just crept over the line in that game. Celtic didn't get going until the second half, I remember, in that game. 3-0. Very nice. Cup game. Eh, pretty much plain and simple. Straightforward. 2-0. Happy with that. West Brom. It was a lucky goal that we scored. Um, and then they, to West Brom just got lucky against us this season. Um, so yeah, whatever. Um, Sunderland probably one of the most epic matches. Uh, definitely up there. Probably up there with my top three matches for the season. Um, so that was all right. Um, as you can see, we did another two 0 victory over SGN. So we went through in the cup. Birmingham City, pretty slow game, but we got the job done in the end. This has to be the most epic match of the season. Week number 20, 8-0 away at Rangers. Absolutely fantastic. Definitely the best win of the season. Definitely the highlight of the season, that that match. Absolutely loving it. Uh, as you can see, we lost at home to Pez, so that was our that was sort of my mini uh, achievement gone there. <laughs> with that but never mind and then we lost to West Brom at home as well so th this was the frustrating period of the season because after that we drew to SGN and then after that again we went away to Celtic who we beat quite comfortably in the end in the first match and only got a 1-1 draw and then yet again uh, we lost to West Brom again so that was horrible it's a shame about the cup like I said but what can you do about it but then we got our revenge we did beat West Brom and pretty much almost secured promotion. Uh, we got another one, you know, it's only, again, it's another 1 0 win, but we got the uh, victory in the end against Sunderland. It gave us a bit of trouble, but we hung on. And finally, 3 2 against Birmingham away. Probably the hardest, well, m probably not the hardest game. I would say probably our hardest game this season has been against West Brom both times. They've been, they've proved to be quite difficult, but so did Birmingham in the end, so. You know, I think that was probably probably the easiest games. Obviously, the Rangers game, SGN, gave us a um, a pretty hard season as well. Like when we played them, because we had to play them four times in the cup. Um, you know, well done to Birmingham. Ha ha, West Brom. <laughs> so they won that. And uh, if I'm if I am to sum up pre-season, solid result against Stuttgart. I think we played the four-five-one in there, so it wasn't too bad. This game, absolutely amazing. Played the 4 3 3. What can you say? It was a great game. Schwartz did well. This game, again, oh my god. It was almost as good as the Rangers game. I was loving every minute of that match. 6 0 over AS Roma. I thought it was going to be a much harder game, but there you go. And finally, we came back and we did it in the end against the North American All Stars. So if I am to sum up the season, yeah, it was difficult, but we got it done in the end. Uh, records room. Point ranking, as you can see, Thierry Henry was the best striker uh, during the season. Robbie Keane was second. Ronaldinho uh, was also second, so he was joint with Robbie Keane. As you can see there, um, it goes by alphabetical difference. That's why Robbie Keane is uh, above Ronaldinho, but technically they are both second, because if it went by alphabetical difference, it would be kind of biased. So if, you're, if your name begins with an A, well, 
you've got priorities, so they both got a 690, so they're both second. Larson there, and Drogba. Midfielder, Gerard was the best, yay! <laughs> That's what we like to see, Gerard with a 7.9. Best midfielder. Um, Deco there as well. Baptiste, Perlo, and Nedved. So, uh, quite a few European teams there. Roberto Carlos, he pretty much gets that all the time. As you can see, Cafu as well. Uh, Maldini also uh, retired this season, and he was up there. So, uh, yeah, well done to him. Priol as well, and Ashley Cole, who, uh, Ashley Cole is, to be honest, a really good defender. As you can see, Toldo and, uh, is there, and uh, Van der Sar, Man United, Casillas, Khan, Buffon, probably the best goalkeeper, all the best goalkeepers in the game, if you ask me. Uh, my best 11, if you go to this, what it says along the bottom there, this is data on the lineup of your team. You may load data to to view previous lineups. So yeah, it just tells you your best 11, I guess. So there's not a lot, really. <laughs> it wasn't actually a 4-5-1, it's actually a 4-3-2-1 formation. <laughs> I've been calling it 4-5-1 all this time, but I guess it pretty much is a 4-5-1. So you can also save your team data as well. Um, be sure to save your team data at its peak. So goal and goal assist, so uh, Ronaldinho got 27 goals this season, he was the top scorer. Uh, Henri was up there, Fernando Torres got 24, Cassano as well, Cassano who we just played against, against Roma as well. Uh, Drogba was up there, Raul, Paletta, uh, Pizarro, uh, some guy I cannot pronounce there, um, for Olympiacos, Larson, Ronaldo, Miste, Carew, Flacci, and uh, somebody else for Palmer. So yeah, looks all pretty good though. Uh, assists. Xavi got 19. I don't think we've got anybody on here. Um, so you know, I'm not sure how many, how many assists Gerard got, but obviously he didn't get enough to get on there. Even uh, Rosinski of Fulham got on there too. So yeah, well done to these guys. And uh, yeah, season results. This basically tells you everything about the team. So, as you can see, um, it tells you all the stats. We've just been kind of through this. It says the Division 2 Cup. Uh, we made it to the Final Four, which isn't bad. Um, obviously not participating in the UEFA Cup or Champions League. And uh, our overall ranking is 64, which will probably go up eventually if we start winning games. As you can see, uh, Golden Boot there, Gerard. I think it's because he scored the most goals for us. I think. Um, I think why he got that is because he got, I think he got four goals there, but he also got uh, seven assists, so he was pretty much our best, our, our best overall player. Um, so yeah, uh, Morientes got three, yeah, Schwartz, Berbatov got one. Don't forget, this is a very short league that we've been playing in, so yeah, Gerard was pretty much our best player because he got the crown and the uh, the boot there. So yeah, well done to Gerard. Uh, in the league, uh, Gerard. Garcia and Cisse all got four goals each. Uh, Forcell was the top scorer with six, so it would have been nice to have gotten that, but never mind. Also, Morientes is up there with three. It's not too bad. Uh, assist, Gerard got seven, so well done to Gerard. Risa got four as well. Uh, Garcia got two, and I think that's it for those. So, guys, um, there is literally nothing else to do now. We've just got to go to uh, the next season. So, here we go to next season. Master League Division 1. Division 1, Fixture 1. Development last season. So this basically tells you everybody who uh, grew. So basically Reina there, uh, his stats all improved, which is very nice. Uh, Hoopy has went down, that's because he's getting on a bit, he's, he's aged. Everybody has now aged by one year, so as you can see, Gerard is 26 now, uh, Reese is 27, Haman 33, Rina has gone up to 24, you know what I mean, everybody ages when you go into a next season, so Finan didn't, Osami improved, uh, Alonso stayed the same, Haman went down because he's getting on a bit, so when you tend to get on a bit in the game, you start to decline, uh, Reese improved, uh, Garcia stayed the same, Gerard improved. <laughs> uh, no. Uh, Dudek again, aging a bit, so he went down. Traore went up, Whitbread went up. Very impressed with Whitbread, one of the best defenders, I think, of last season. Uh, Warnock didn't really get a game. I don't know, maybe could be time Warnock moved on, possibly. 
in uh, in winter maybe because I think like we maybe got a little bit too many left backs. I don't know. Sissoko uh, went up, so that's nice. Sendens did the same. Kleb went up as well because his stats are very nice and he's still quite well. He's 25, so. It's youngish, I guess, in terms of football. Uh, cool went down, surprisingly, which I wasn't expecting, but nevertheless, he's still a great player. Uh, Schwartz went up, he improved everything, apart from keeper skills, because he's not a goalkeeper, so very impressed with that kid, he looks promising, he's aged as well. Um, Berbatov went up as well, so really impressed with that as well. He looks good now, he's looking better. Carson, nothing. Raven went up, but I think Raven's one of the players that I want to get rid of because I don't really see him being in the squad. Foy went up as well, so that's really good. Orientes went down. Hmm. He's 30 now, so. Hmm. Uh, and Mela went up as well, even though I played Mela like once. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh well. That'll do. Okay, so as you can see there, we starting against Blackburn, and then in the second week we have Manchester City. So, without further ado, let's have a look at the fixture reveal. So I'm going to treat this as the proper 2005-2006 season, because as you can see there at the top, it says 2006 fixture 1, so that's how I'm just going to treat this from now on. So, here we go. And here is the fixtures reveal. We have Portsmouth on the last day of the season there, and we start at Blackburn. We're away at Bra Blackburn Rovers. Um, tough start for SGN United. They are at home to Arsenal. So that's pretty big. Uh, Chelsea Tottenham on the opening day there as well. Everton Newcastle. Some pretty big games there, I'd have to say. Man United Aston Villa. Uh, week 2 is uh, Manchester City, so uh, we are at home for that one, so we're going to be starting away and then we'll be at home. Um, Arsenal Man United on the second week there, it's a big one. Uh, nothing else pretty much noteworthy there. Fixture 3, we're at home to Aston Villa, so we've got two home games in a row. Manchester United away to Blackburn. Um, Chelsea, Portsmouth, SGN at home to Newcastle. Hmm, nothing there too big either. There's a derby match actually with Fulham and Arsenal. Newcastle away, uh, one of the favourite fixtures for a Liverpool fan. <laughs> uh, can't wait for that, it's going to be epic. Um, no, again, nothing too noteworthy there. No big, big matches, I can see. Chelsea at home on fixture 5. Um, so that should be good. Manchester City take on Arsenal in week five. Uh, Man United, Everton. Hmm. Black, uh, sorry, Middlesbrough away is the next fixture. Uh, from what I can see, there's again no big matches there, so it's pretty normal week. SGM are at home again with Tottenham. Uh, at home with uh, Bolton next, uh, Man United, Fulham, Newcastle, Man City, uh, Arsenal, Tottenham, big derby game there on fixture 7. We are away at Arsenal on fixture 8, so uh, that looks pretty good. Um, Chelsea, Man United as well, ooh, it's a big Grand Slam weekend on fixture 8. Arsenal versus Liverpool and Chelsea take on Man United. Grand Slam weekend. <laughs> fixture 9, we're at home to Manchester United on fixture 9. Um, Chelsea take on Man City. Nothing else I can really see there. Everton, Arsenal, could be an interesting game. Because uh, Everton do quite well against Arsenal in real life. <laughs> Fulham, fixture 10. Uh, Man United take on Tottenham. Chelsea and Middlesbrough. Arsenal, Charlton. Mm, again, nothing too big. It's quite spaced out, if you ask me. Derby match, we start our, our derby match against Everton. Um, we'll be away the first one. And also, not only that, but there's another. There's a, two derbies going... In fact, there's three derbies going on that day. Arsenal take on Chelsea on fixture 11. We take on Everton. And Manchester City take on Manchester United on fixture 11. What a massive, massive fixtures list there. That's going to be huge. No, I can't wait for that. Fixture 12, we take on uh, Tottenham at home. Uh, again, nothing I can see there. SGN go away to Chelsea. It'll um, be interesting to see how SGN get on, to be honest, in this season. 
then we are away to SGN. Uh, hopefully we'll do better against them this season than we did last season. So I don't know how much they've improved their team or who they've actually bought, if anyone. But uh, Man United away to Portsmouth, Arsenal, Bolton, uh, Chelsea away to Newcastle. That could be interesting. Um, Manchester City, Tottenham. Mixture 14. Um, as you can see there, Charlton at home. SGN go away to Man U, Arsenal, Portsmouth, Chelsea, Aston Villa. Mm, not nothing much there. And then the final games of the fi uh, the of the season. Sorry, uh, Chelsea got a derby against Fulham on the last game. Uh, Arsenal, Middlesbrough, Man United go away to Newcastle. That could be interesting if it comes down to the final game. Um, but we will be challenging for the title. So uh, yeah. So basically, what I just went through is the same, but it's going to be reversed. So basically, we started. Uh, away at Blackburn so we'll be at home for that one etc so um, if we go to this one obviously Man United are going to be at home we're going to be at home to Everton Chelsea are going to be at home to Arsenal so yeah on the last day of the season it all looks pretty good if we go to our cup games as well we start against Chelsea in the League Cup <laughs> that's going to be hard Arsenal take on Manchester City there uh, Man U take on Everton we couldn't have asked for a harder game to be honest that's going to be definitely interesting because uh, not only that but we've got Arsenal we've got then Manchester United on week 9 straight after that we've got the Chelsea game and then not only that we're taking on the UEFA Cup winners after that then we've got a, a derby game against Everton and then obviously Tottenham as well so that's there's quite a few games there that are going to be very interesting but as you can see every space is pretty much filled now so there's something going on each week apart from week 33 which um, is for the Champions League slash UEFA Cup final which obviously we can't get into because we need to qualify for it first so we need to aim for the top four this season but yeah, I think that's pretty much it, guys. There's there's nothing else to do. As you can see, it's all default. We're number one for some reason, <laughs> which kind of makes no sense. Um, as you can see, we can see all the other leagues now. So we can see, uh, like, you know, Real Madrid and the rest of them and Stuttgart's league. And it'd be interesting to see how they did last season, but obviously we can't see that. So we don't actually know who won the, um, the league last season in here. So we don't know who the champions are. So I'm just going to assume it's Chelsea for now. Uh, and I think that's it. That's it. That's all we needed to do. Um, I put an update for Blackburn. Got to watch out for two gigs. He's the best player. And they got Dick off and Be Bellamy up front. So yeah, that that's pretty much it, guys. There's nothing else to do. Um, I guess we could check out this. I mean, if we win, we can go play Blackburn or Charlton. Um, possibly Man United in the semis, and possibly, I would say, probably Arsenal in the final, or someone. So yeah. That's going to be interesting. Obviously, you can have a look at all the other cups as well. I mean, you can like stop the video and pause it if you want to look at this, but I'm not too bothered. As you can see, Champions League there. Uh, Tottenham got into it as well, so they are in that group. Um, oops. Um, Aston Villa got into the Champions League, so I don't know. Man United are there. Obviously, they are the champions. Uh, Fulham won the UEFA Cup, so they're in the uh, Champions League. Uh, I think that's why they're in there, I'm not sure. I've got two English and two Spain there, so yeah. It doesn't fall the actual Champions League rules. Um, yeah, that's pretty much that. And uh, I don't think we can look at the UEFA Cup because it hasn't started yet. But uh, yeah guys, that's pretty much it. Uh, there's nothing else to look at. So I just want to thank you for watching this episode. And here we go, it's season two. We're in the big time now. So it's all go. We'll start at Blackburn. See you guys then.